Archie Harrison overjoyed as Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan has officially announced that they are expecting second child on Monday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shared a black and white picture of themselves, sat under a tree, with Harry resting his hand on Meghan's head as she lay in his lap cradling her bump. A spokesperson for Prince Harry and Meghan said in a statement, we can confirm that Archie is going to be a big brother. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are overjoyed to be expecting their second child. The new arrival will be a little brother or sister for Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, who turns two in May. Congratulations are in order for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex all of the developments since the happy news broke on Valentine's Day. Harry and Meghan's baby announcement the hope we needed after far a year of turbulence. The news must have made Archie Harrison happy. The baby will be eighth in line to the British throne after Archie's brother. The sex of the couple's second baby, as well as the due date, remain unclear. Baby Sussex will be the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's 10th or 11th great-grandchild, depending on whether he or she arrives before or after Zara Tyndall's baby, which is also due in 2021. The couple shared a new photo taken remotely by their longtime friend, the photographer Masan Harriman. Harry and Meghan shared their announcement, aptly on Valentine's Day, by posting a black and white image of Harry resting his hand on Meghan's head as she lay in his lap underneath a tree. Speaking to British Vogue following the baby announcement, Harriman said, to be asked to help share this absolute joy after such an unimaginable loss and heartache is a marker of true friendship. In the couple's official pregnancy announcement photo Meghan is wearing a dress made by Carolina Herrera. The Duchess also wore clothes by the Venezuelan fashion designer during her pregnancy with Archie. If born in the US, the baby will be entitled to US citizenship as an automatic right. It also comes on the 37th anniversary of when Harry's mother, Princess Diana, announced that she was pregnant with him on Valentine's Day in 1984. Harry and Meghan's news comes just three months after the Duchess revealed that she had suffered a miscarriage in an article for the New York Times. Meghan said that, I knew, as I clutched my firstborn child, that I was losing my second, she wrote in a November op-ed entitled The Losses We Share. Hours later, I lay in a hospital bed, holding my husband's hand. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. She added, in the pain of our loss, my husband and I discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered from miscarriage. Yet despite the staggering commonality of this pain, the conversation remains taboo, riddled with, unwarranted, shame, and perpetuating a cycle of solitary mourning. The article concluded, are we okay? We will be. Royal fans celebrate Prince Harry and Meghan's rainbow baby. Harry and American actor Meghan Marco married at Windsor Castle in May 2018. Their son Archie was born a year later. In early 2020, Harry and Meghan shocked the world when they stepped down as senior royals and announced they were moving to North America with baby Archie, citing what they said were the unbearable intrusions of the British media. The pair, who relocated to the United States at the beginning of 2020 and have settled in Santa Barbara, California, are already parents to their one-year-old son Archie Mountbatten Windsor who was born back in May 2019. The family of three has been residing at their Montecito home amid the pandemic and following their landmark decision to step away from royal duties at the start of Fire Life New. In November, Meghan revealed that she had a miscarriage in July 2020, giving a personal account of the traumatic experience in hope of helping others. Prince Harry and Meghan Marco are set to sit down for a wide-ranging and intimate TV interview with Oprah. That will send tremors through Buckingham Palace, and cover everything from their latest pregnancy and marriage to their exit from the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be braced for a host of potentially embarrassing revelations from the 90-minute primetime chat, 
which the couple have agreed to in spite of their insistence that the media respects their privacy. Prince Harry will then join his wife in front of the camera, and the two will open up about their decision to move to the US following Megxit, and their hopes and dreams for their expanding family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will appear on a bombshell 90 minute special to air on US TV next month, it was announced today. The Tell All special, entitled Oprah with Meghan and Harry, will air on US network CBS on the 7th of March, and will focus primarily on the Duchess of Sussex, who will discuss everything from stepping into life as a royal, marriage, motherhood, philanthropic work to how she is handling life under intense public pressure. It comes just hours after the couple announced they are expecting their second child. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's agreement to do an explosive tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey has made the palace nervous, insiders say. The news will raise fears bombshell details of Harry's reported rift with members of the royal family including his brother Prince William could be aired for the world.